Hello my dear students of second preparatory stage. أهلا بكم طلابنا الأعزاء للصف الثاني الإعدادي مادة اللغة الإنجليزية. Today guys we have something new. We have a revision on the previous units on unit 1, 2 and 3. نهاردة حلقتنا مراجعة عن اللي فات بس لازم أفكركوا إن النهاردة حلقتنا تحت رعاية وإشراف وزارة التربية والتعليم. Let me remind you of what we explained in the last sessions. أو خلوني أفكركوا إحنا قدمنا إيه في الحلقات اللي فاتت. First of all, we talked about or we introduced a lot of grammar lessons. We introduced the difference between present simple and present continuous. We introduced the difference between past simple and how to put some verbs in the past simple or mainly how to use the verb use to. It has certain cases as I mentioned in the previous sessions. We also introduced in the writing area how to write email or a paragraph. قدمنا ازاي ان احنا نكتب paragraph او email as a reply او ردا على email ممكن يكون مبعوت لنا. برضو اتكلمنا عن articles او مقالات how to read an article, how to read a certain paragraph about or article about our heroes. اتكلمنا عن the Egyptian handball team فريق كرة اليد المصري وانجازاته اللي اتعملت في السنين اللي فاتوا. واتكلمنا برضو عن our doctors. Uh, and our Egyptian pharaohs أو الفراعنة المصريين وإن هم إزاي كانوا السبب uh, في إيجاد بعض الأدوية أو العقارات اللي هي ساهمت بشكل كبير قوي في الطب nowadays أو في الوقت الحالي أو في العصر الحالي okay. كل ده اتكلمنا عليه in the previous sessions so we will have our review review A uh, عندنا النهاردة review A ده اللي هو مراجعتنا on units 1, 2 and 3 we will uh, focus on this revision on Uh, vocabulary, grammar, writing, and reading also. Okay? So, before everything, I want you to get ready with your books and uh, pencils and highlighters. Okay? To jot down anything after me or to jot down any uh, additional information or to معلومات زيادة. Okay? So, before everything, let's have now a quick look at the objective of our session of today. Let's go. Now, Let's have a look at our objectives again. So again, as I mentioned at the beginning of the episode, we have a review A or we have a revision on the previously explained lessons. So for our learning objectives, by the end of this session, guys, you will be able to revise the previously explained lessons in all areas in grammar, vocabulary, reading and writing. And of course, we will focus on the writing skills more. So. Now, are you ready with your books? Let's go. Complete the questions with the correct question form. Now, we are on the first page of review one. So here we have some question words in the box. How, what, what time, where, who, and why. Before displaying my questions, let me um, define every meaning of every question word. Let me define for you the meaning of how, what, matter, what time, It means when, uh, matter, where, uh, aina, who, men, and why, limada. Okay? So these are the meanings of every question word. And well, um, we have a question, uh, the first question. Dots here at the beginning, and here you have to fill in. Did you live when you were a child? So can you guess what is the suitable question word that is to be fit here? تقدروا تخمنوا ايه ال question word اللي ناقصه هنا نقدر نكمل بيها؟ Let me show you my answer. It's where, of course, because how can I know? I know by the verb live. Live here means a place. I will show a place. أو هشاور على مكان. That's why I chose the uh, question word where. Then, for number two, we have dot. Then, do you live with with? I mention here space. Then, هتعيش مع من? So the question, the missing question word is who, of course. Who did you live with? بتعيش مع مين? Okay. The number three space did you usually get up? So I'm talking about something, yes, related to timing. So when I refer to time, I refer by when or what time. Okay. Then for number four, space did you get up so early? Here. Okay. Sure, we have why. Why did you get up so early? Li, li inta umt badri min nom. And for number five, space. Did you go to school? So I have go, of course, 
what can come to my mind how how did you go to school يعني كيف ذهبت الى المدرسة and for number six space subjects did you like at school of course I'm talking about what what subjects ايه المواد اللي انت كنت بتحبها at school look carefully at the pictures here we have two pictures picture A and picture B and we have to look carefully at them then we can answer or we can uh, uh, make questions with answers يعني احنا اللي هنألف ال questions وهنألف او هنقدر نجاوب عليها it's our own uh, samples يعني دي حاجة ممكن تغيروا فيها here you have differences او عندكو اختلافات ما بين الصورتين okay for the first question I made for you like how is the weather like in picture A now if I uh, refer to the window here and the window here, can you notice the difference? ملاحظين الفرق ما بين timing في التوقيت اليوم? Yes, here it's so sunny, but here it's dark. It means here it was in the morning or in the afternoon and here at night. So my question is, how is the weather like in picture A? So my answer is, it's sunny and nice. Okay, then let me show you the, the other question. Where is the pot of the plant in picture A? Where is the pot of the plant in picture A? Pot of the plant or the zara, okay? Where is it located? محطوط فين في picture? Picture A. It's different, of course, as you see. هنا, احنا عندنا, this is the pot of the plant, but here, it's mainly on the left. So here, in picture A, it's located or it's placed in the corner, okay? يعني محطوطة في corner. Then, another question. Where is the wardrobe in picture B? فاكرين يعني ايه wardrobe? Wardrobe means دولاب. Okay? So can you look at picture B and what is the answer here? Yes, it's beside or we can say on the right of the bed. يعني بجانب السرير او على يمين السرير. Of course, we mentioned the directions of the things in the previous sessions. احنا اتكلمنا عن الاتجاهات في الحلقات السابقة واتكلمنا على ان احنا ممكن نقول on the left, on the right, in the middle, at uh, uh, the background, for example, on the corner. Okay? So, here, read the interview with a scientist in Antarctica and choose the correct words. Okay, او هنتكلم عن ال ال الدول او البلاد اللي بالقرب من خط الاستواء اوكي okay. so here i used or used to work as a scientist at a university so which one i shall use here is yes i used to because when you have a question you use use only not used but when i say or when i'm talking about something i already uh, i was already doing in the past and now i stopped it i used to okay i used to then i saw a job advertisement for scientists to work in antarctica for a year and i am thinking or i thought it looked interesting can you guess what is the uh, tense يعني ايه الزمن اللي انا المفروض استخدمه present continuous or past definitely it's past because i mentioned something already happened at that time when i looked at the adver advertisement advertisement means اللي هي الكلمه دي D, it means Alain. يعني أنا لقيت Alain for scientists to work in Antarctica for a year and أكيد لازم أختار I thought the past simple. Okay. Then for article or passage letter B. Some things is or are the same as home. So I have here things. أشياء كتيرة. It's a plural subject. So shall I use is or are? Definitely it's are. We usually get up or got up at about 7 a.m. Usually, yes, usually. Can you remember the keyword of usually? Which tense is it? Can you remember? Usually, always, sometimes, never, often. Okay, definitely, it's present simple. And when I'm talking about present simple, guys, I have to add an infinitive verb if I have I or plural subject. يعني لو عندي فاعل بيشير للجمع أو pronoun I أنا لازم أحط معاه verb in the present simple tense as an infinitive verb يعني الverb مش بيتحط عليه أي حاجة خالص okay but in the present simple tense if you have a singular subject like he, she, it, أحمد, علي, مريم, whoever so you add s or es or ies to the verb so here we have we plural subject so we usually get up let me show you the answer it's get up at about 7 a.m. We have breakfast and did or do some exercise. 
again we are related to the same tense يعني احنا ماشيين مع نفس التنس because as I mentioned before when we use the present simple tense we talk about facts or habits يعني حاجة احنا متعودين عليها بشكل مستمر مش بتتغير او facts related to nature يعني حقائق في الطبيعة مش بتتغير That's why, or this is the case in which I can use present simple. يعني دي الحالة اللي أنا بستخدم فيها present simple. هو بيتكلم إن دي حاجة regular اللي بتحصل أو بشكل دائم بتحصل عشان كده لازم نكمل present simple. Okay? So here, of course, I have to choose. We do some exercise. يعني بنعمل تمارين. Then we start work at 9 a.m. and finish the or finish at 5 p.m. Definitely, it's finish present simple again. We eat dinner. See here, all the verbs are written in present simple tense because they all talk about facts, okay, or habits, facts about the scientists in Ar Antarctica. We eat dinner together and then watch TV, play some games, or read. See here, all the verbs that you have, they are written in the present simple tense. Okay, let's move to article letter C or paragraph letter C. At the moment, can you remember here, at the moment, now, at the present, um, these are some key words that are related to the present continuous tense. But here there is a tricky question. خلي بالكم إن في هنا سؤال tricky شوية أو بيخدع شوية. Of course, I have at the moment. At the moment is a key word for the present continuous tense. يعني ده زمن المضارع المستمر. بس مش شرط إن أنا عندي حاجة لزمن المضارع المستمر. So I have to add a verb in the present continuous tense. Let me show you something. It is or it is being winter. So it is dark. So shall I use here present simple or present continuous? Can you guess? Here, let me show you the answer. It is. Why didn't I choose it is being? Although I have at the moment. يعني لي أنا لو أنا عندي key word من present continuous لي أنا استخدمت معه كلمة أو verb من present simple. لأن ده بيعبر عن facts أو حقيقة. فما ينفعش الحقيقة نستخدمها مع present continuous. Okay, so I'm talking about winter. It's winter time. Winter time or summer time or fall time. The seasons or فصول السنة عموما بيبقى ليها أوقات محددة throughout the year أو على مدار السنة. فدي كلها facts related to nature أو حقائق عن الطبيعة. That's why I choose with the facts present simple tense. Even if I have a key word of the present continuous. Okay, إحنا بنبص على المعنى مش بس كل حاجة بالحفظ. يعني we have to think. Okay, so here it is winter, so it is dark. ما قالش مثلا في question it is being dark. عشان ده fact إن الوقت ده كان dark أو is dark now. So it is dark all day. ده fact عن إن الوقت ده في السنة دي أو في الوقت ده من البلد دي بيبقى it's winter بيبقى فصل شتاء وبيبقى الوقت فيه dark أو مظلم. And night. The weather is very cold. الجو هناك very cold and windy. في رياح وفي ساعة كتير. Only 20 people worked or are working here now. So can you guess? Let me show you. Of course, it's are working. Here we can't use worked, okay? Because I have here, now. Now is a key word of the present continuous tense, okay? So I miss my friends and family, but it's an amazing experience. أو تجربة مثيرة جدا أو مذهلة. So, now. I want you to look at the text again. We have just read the three uh, uh, paragraphs in this text. And I want you to try matching. Okay, try matching the previous paragraphs or the فقرات السابقة. We can try matching with the coming questions. And how will we get questions that we are What is daily life like in Antarctica? Okay, the information that was shown about this part, was it shown in article or paragraph A, B or C? Can you have a look now on the site? ممكن تبصوا كده وتكرروا معايا. I guess some of you got it correctly. It was mentioned in paragraph B. Then, for question two, what is different about life in Antarctica? When we talked about life in Antarctica, that was shown in which paragraph exactly? Let me show you. It was mentioned in paragraph C. Then, for number three, why did you come to work in Antarctica? The reasons of why that scientist came to work in Antarctica, of course, it was shown in paragraph A. Okay, that was a reading passage. And now let's move to a new skill, which is speaking. Use the words to make questions, then ask and answer the questions in pairs. Okay, before doing so, I want to explain that part in details on the smart board. 
خلوني اشرح لكم البارت ده على السمارت بورد علشان محتاجه ان انا اديكم اكزامبلز مور اكزامبلز او امثله اكتر شويه ليتس جو اوكي ناو ار يو ريدي وذ يور بوكس ليتس جو فور ذس بارت use the words to make questions then ask and answer the questions in pairs okay so we will here we have some <coughs> uh, words that uh, need some verbs or that need some or other words to be forming or to form a complete question يعني الكلمات دي هي ناقصها افعال اوكي او ناقصها ترتيب معين علشان تكون لي سؤال بشكل صحيح so what the weather like now Weather means the go. Okay, so here, of course, we don't have a verb, a helping verb, because we have only one verb. As I mentioned in the previous sessions, زي ما فكرتكوا قبل كده, whenever we are making a question, we should have. If we have here, let me um, show you with the pen. Here, I have what. If you have any W H question word, what, who, why, when. Uh, what time okay so these question uh, words need helping verbs after them يعني انا ما ينفعش يبقى عندي verb واحد بس in the question i should have helping verb and main verb in the present simple tense our helping verbs are do or does in the present continuous we have am is are plus ing verb in the past simple we only have one helping verb which is did okay and here we have now So this keyword is related to which tense? Can you remember? Now, at the moment, at the present, definitely it's present continuous tense. So here, what is the weather like now? But again, I have to stress on this part. Why didn't I say what is the weather being like? لي ما استخدمتش حاجة من the present continuous am, is, or plus ing. لي ما عملتش ده في السؤال. Yes, this is the point I have just mentioned in the previous slides. إن إحنا لو عندنا fact أو حاجة ما بتتغيرش حاجة سبتة على طول, even if we have any keyword for any tense, we use the present simple tense. يعني أي إن كان الكيورد اللي هنلاقيها إيه من زمن الماضي المستمر أو زمن الماضي سوري زمن المضارع المستمر أو زمن المضارع البسيط أي إن كان التنس إيه أو أي إن كان الزمن إيه, we have to put it in the present simple tense because it's a fact. Fact here, يعني حقيقة مش بتتغير. Okay, that's why. What is the weather like now? This is the correct uh, form. And here, it's sunny and nice. This is one of my samples for you. Of course, you can change. What you looking forward to? Again, let me remind you of looking forward to. Looking forward to means أتطلع إلى. وزي ما قلت قبل كده, looking forward to should be followed by. Gerund or noun. يعني لازم يبقى جاي بعدها noun. Like I am looking forward to the next match, or I am looking forward to watch the latest movie. Watching the latest movie. Okay. So here it should be followed by a noun or gerund, ing with the verb. Okay. So what you looking forward to? I need here a helping verb. Can you guess what? Yes, it's verb to be. What are you looking forward to? Okay, I can't use here uh, do or does or did because I have I, an, an ing word or ing verb coming here in the answer. I'm looking forward to getting high marks in all subjects this year. طبعاً دي سامبل أو دي نموذج إجابة أنا كتبت ليكو. You can change ممكن تغيروا الإجابة اللي أنتوا عايزينها. Then for number three, how often exercise? Again, what's meant by how often? When I ask you a question starts with how often. What does it mean? How often? يعني كم مرة تقريبا بتعمل الحاجة دي. Usually when I have how often, I should put in my answer twice, once, three times, four times. يعني كم مرة بعمل الحاجة دي. So how often exercise? So again, often is one of the key words for the present simple tense. This means, yes, I have to add do or does. Because I have already one main verb, so I need to put my uh, helping verb. So of course, I am addressing you. أو أنا بوجه الكلام للي قدامي. So here, how often do you exercise? كم مرة تقريبا بتتمرن? So my sample as an answer for you, I exercise twice a week. Again, whenever I have often, my answer should include 
twice, once, three times, four times, five times, okay? So, for number four, what time go to sleep? Here, what time means, yes, it means when, it means when, يعني بسأل عن timing, go to sleep, okay? So, what shall I add here? أو المفروض إن أنا أزود إيه? Definitely a helping verb, do, does or did. But here, should I focus on present or past? Of course, it's here for present because here I am talking about facts or something you already do every now and then. So what time do you go to sleep? Okay? The answer is or can be I go to sleep at 9 p.m. Okay. So here, number five. What do last night? Again, here, which tense I shall use now? Present or past? Focus on the keyword. Yes, I have here, last night, last, and last, or yesterday, or uh, in 2019, for example, in plus any, previous year. So this means, yes, we are talking about the past simple tense. أو بنتكلم على الماضي البسيط. That's why, what is my helping verb here? I here have one verb. Do is the main verb, uh, verb here, and I need to add another helping verb. إحنا كنا قلنا ال helping verbs في present simple, does or do. What about the past simple? What is the helping verb in the past simple tense? Yes, it's did only. Okay, in the past simple tense, it's did only. So here, this is the correct answer. What did you do last night? What did you do last night? Okay, the answer is or can be I did my homework. I did my homework. Of course, do is one of the irregular verbs يعني نوع or um, فعل من الأفعال اللي مش بتتغير بإضافة ال ED we have some verbs in the past simple like play when I want to put it in the past simple tense I just add ED it's going to be played okay but I have some irregular verbs that need to be completely changed أو عندي بعض الأفعال لازم أغيرها بالكامل عشان تبقى in a correct form in the past simple tense like when Okay, it should be one. Okay, so like this one. So this is a regular verb, this is an irregular verb. Okay, so let me erase this to show you the rest. For the last question, what or eat for dinner yesterday? Again, yesterday is a key word of the Past simple tense like last night. So what eat for dinner yesterday? What do I need here after the question word? Yes, a helping verb. What is the helping verb to make a question in the past? It's only did. So here, what did you eat for dinner last night? The answer or the answer can be I ate some sandwiches here. See, ate is regular or irregular verb? Yes, definitely. It's only irregular because I didn't say I eat it. This is completely wrong. Eight. We have a lot of irregular verbs that can be used in the past simple. Like win, it's going to be won. Like lose, it's going to be lost. Like eat, it's going to be ate. Like go, it's going to be went. Okay? You have to study them. Or my advice for you, نصيحتي ليكو علشان ما تنسوش ال irregular verbs in the past simple. Whenever you see any verb which we have to change in the past simple tense and you see the answer, circle or you, or, or you can write it in a notebook. يعني لازم يبقى عندنا زي كراسة فاضية ممكن إن أنا كل ما الاقي فيها أي irregular verb يعني أي new form of an irregular verb أكتبه قدامي وأكتب التعديل. ده by the end of the year or by the end of the units هلاقي عندي um, group of verbs كويس إن أنا يبقى معرفني على الأقل إيه ال commonly used أو إيه أكتر ال verbs اللي مستخدمة as irregular verbs in the past simple tense. دي ممكن طريقة حلوة ليكو في المذاكرة تساعدكو. Okay? So again, my advice for you is to make a notebook to write every irregular verb you come across أو بتلاقوه وأنتوا بتحلوا أي حاجة أو وإحنا بنشرحه سوا. Okay? So that was the last thing I want to tell you about. عايزة أفكركو إحنا أخدنا إيه النهاردة؟ إحنا عملنا review أو revision We uh, did revise some of the uh, 
past simple tenses or some of the tenses in general. رجعنا ال tenses كلها رجعنا ال present continuous, the past continuous, the uh, past simple tense. Okay, and we also read an article together. عرفنا زين نحنا نقرا حاجة مع بعض. عرفنا زين نحنا نفتكر ال اتجاهات ال directions. The directions are like on the left, on the right, uh, uh, on the corner. Um, at the background يعني الاتجاهات دي بتساعدنا ان احنا to describe أو نوصف بيها ال pictures if we are going to write any paragraph لو احنا بنكتب اي paragraph ده هيساعدنا ان احنا بالوصف نكتب ازاي okay so um, this is everything up till now and um, wait for me for the next session because next session I will be preparing for you some of the life skills that will help us Um, improve our characters او خلوني ساعتها افكركم بال لايف سكيلز هقدم تاني معاكم لايف سكيلز او المهارات اللي احنا لازم تبقى في شخصيتنا علشان تو بي بيتر بيبل او ان احنا نبقى شخصيات احسن في المستقبل اوكي سو ذس از ايفريثينج اب تيل ناو اند اي واز سو هابي تو ميت ويز يو اجين سو ستي سيف بليز اند ثانك يو اجين جود باي